Civilians again the victims after a Saudi-led coalition airstrike in Yemen. Iranian-backed Houthi fighters say at least 31 people, including women and children, have died in an attack on their vehicles in the western province of Hadidah. Although some Houthi sources say the number of dead is lower. Dead children and women, disgusting crime. The victims were trying to escape a camp in al Kui, which the coalition says was being used to launch missiles. They hit us while we were on the road. This little boy survived. But it's just two weeks since another Saudi coalition airstrike hit a school bus that killed 40 children and 11 adults in what Saudi Arabia declared to be an appropriate military action. It has promised to investigate. As more parents prepare to weep over their children's graves, the charity Save the Children estimates an average of 140 children have been killed every day since the beginning of the Saudi-led coalition strikes against Houthis. If the United Nations will not conduct their own investigation, will not send uh, a team uh, to Yemen to investigate those uh, type of crimes, I believe that the Saudi-led coalition will continue uh, to do so. Meanwhile, Human Rights Watch has criticized the Saudi-led panel investigating alleged war crimes in Yemen. So really what we're seeing is you have this investigative body that says it's credibly investigating, but is in fact not at all an, acceptab an acceptable sort of substitute for the states themselves actually carrying out credible investigations. The charity Save the Children says that Yemen is the most dangerous place in the world to be a child right now. Houthi leaders have in the last few hours called on international bodies to do more to stop the fighting in Yemen. And they say the international community's silence on the attack two weeks ago and this most recent attack is nothing short of shameful. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Djibouti.